What's up guys, LJ here for Energy Tech, and today's review will be on the game Cubes on the iPhone and iPod Touch. So I downloaded this game today, recommended by a, by a video a guy I saw on YouTube. Not a very famous game, but I gotta say, it is very addictive. Let's open it up. So, in the menu, very basic, you'll have new game, resume game, instructions, how to play. Uh, high scores, credits, and options. So let's go for options first. You have just the colors, standards, uh, bright or colorblind. Background colors, you just have blue, green, red. Sound effects, double tap, 3G edge, sync. So, pretty basic settings. Let's go into new game. So you have, you can go back to the previous menu. You can go quick game or new game. Let's go to new game so basically what you do in this game is you have a cube let me see no you can't you need it no you can't do a landscape um, so you have a cube you can move it around as you please and you have to get points by selecting the color so like here you can see me select like this you have all green there so you select green as you can see it took this part as well double tap on the green and it's gone same go look around you have to get obviously as much as possible here red double tap on the red and here <coughs> sorry it'll tell you um the target amount of points that you need 700 right now i have 66 and the bar right at the bottom right here is your progress so when you get to the end the game ended if you haven't reached 700 you would have lost the game um <coughs> so this Sound icon, you can mute or put it on. Uh, actually, I didn't see that button before. What is it? Oh, yeah. This button, you can if you don't want to double tap, you can click on there and then hit that. Um, it's one of these games you get pretty addictive. If you're on, if you're on the plane, I mean, you get not, nothing else to do. Or if you're waiting, I don't know, at the dentist or something like that, you just want a quick game. It's not a game that you'll you have to spend... At least like 10 minutes on there, you can just take it out, play for two minutes, and you're done. So, overall, I've tried it. It's um, it's a it's a solid eight, guys. I I really like that game. I, I like that. I mean, it's not it's not like the kind of game like Doom, where you have to take it really seriously. You can just mess around on this and try to get high scores. Yeah, let's go back to the menu. Let me see. Actually, let me just end the game. I'll show you when, uh, if you don't get the right amount of points. Actually, I bet I'm going to get it right now. Uh, maybe not. Let's see. As you can see, the progress bar is going up. And that's probably the last one. Nope. Let's see. Anything else right here? So, yeah. If you haven't made it, I'll give you a, a message. It says, sorry you didn't achieve the target score. You press OK. And... It'll say you submit the score, blah blah blah. Let's press done, and it'll bring you to the um, leaderboard. So you have the local leaderboard. So that's all your scores that you've had um, on your iPhone. The daily leaderboard. So that's from uh, as he as he uh, means uh, by day by day, weekly, and all time. So. Um, so there you go guys, um, it's been an hour review of cubes for the iPhone and iPod Touch. Uh, I, th I believe it's 99 cents, actually I have to, I forget, uh, at the end of the video I always forget to um, to say the price of the of the app. But I believe it's $99 in the App Store, you have to check it out. And um, definitely recommend you buy it, a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, comment, rate, subscribe, if you, like I always say, if you like to... Uh, if you'd like to post a comment saying uh, which, if you want to see in a different application, I don't know, whatever, games or whatever, uh, I'd gladly take a look and uh, do a review for you. So it's been LJ for New Tech. Peace.